Oh my god! <laughs> Welcome back to the channel people, this is the Acetec Blaster, the one that simulates muzzle flash. And yes, if you're wondering what's up with the voice, I've decided to do a much more chilled, laid back approach to these reviews. Are you kidding me? That is the Acetec Blaster. Okay, let's call out the elephant in the room here. Fire anybody? So the wonderful people at Ace Tech once again has hooked your boy up with one of their latest. As I said, this is the Ace Tech Blaster. This bad boy not only lights up your BBs, but this little unit will flash as if it was muzzle flash. Oh my gosh, the movie making opportunities there is amazing. Uh, listen, as I said, it's not a new concept, but if you like Ace Tech, ha, you'd be happy to know they now have their version. Let's get this open, can't delay this anymore. Um, the first thing you get as usual, let me see. Cool, you get an adapter and of course, a charging cable. An Allen key. Okay. Ah. Okay. <laughs> and naturally, an instruction manual. Yeah. Right. So. Oh yeah. 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 Straight away. I absolutely like the design of that. Look at that. Awesome. And I tell you what. I'm loving the fact that it's a full metal build. Decent, like that. And I'm happy they haven't gone down the cheeky route of putting a pig or a hog on the side of this unit. But what they have done, <laughs> look. Now, unlike the previous Brighter C, Ace Tech has reintroduced the power button, but maintaining that shake feature. And I like that. And it also has an auto shut off. Decent. And if you look right there, you can see your USB port where you can charge it up. Hopefully one day they'll move on to the C type uh, USB socket. And right there on the other side, your on and off switch. Now, as you can see, there are three LEDs there at the front. Let me just point to one of them right there. Um, that's what's gonna make this light up with that flash. But in terms of the BB being lit up, naturally that's all gonna be done from within the unit itself. And by the way, there's your measurement of the actual thread. But don't forget, you do get included in this box an alternative threaded adapter. Okay, but the good thing is, if you are fortunate enough to have one of those bad boys already, this Ace Tech unit will fit straight on it without any use of the adapter. Oh, by the way, I have another patch to give away. Um, pretty much like the last one I was going to give away, which I will be announcing the winner at the end of this video. If you want to win yourself an exclusive Airsoft mic, PVC 3D patch, 3D as in the actual letters and everything is raised and yeah. So, want to win this? Put in the comment section what was the very first Ace Tech Tracer unit ever featured on the Airsoft Mic YouTube channel. The first one to get to the comment section and put the correct answer, I'll send you one of my new patches. Right, let's get back to the unboxing. A cool thing to note about this Tracer unit is that you have the option of the Tracer and the Flame mode working at the same time, or you can have just the flame mode or just the tracer mode. Pretty decent. And the way to activate those various modes is via your on and off button. So, when you press it and release it after one beep, you're gonna get the tracer and the flame. When you press it and release it after two beeps, you're just gonna get the flame mode. And after three beeps, so that's pressing it and releasing it, after three beeps, you'll get the tracer mode alone. And of course, the cool thing about these tracer units is that you don't actually have to have it on your airsoft equipment to test it. Watch. Actually, let's bring the lights down a bit. 
watch. <laughs> you see that? Anything that gets past that sensor activates it. And can you see that flash? Come on, movie making, come on. Now, as I mentioned before, it does have that shake feature so you can wake it up, which is brilliant. So it saves on the battery. But again, you can turn it off completely via that button. So if I was now, for example, to leave that there and not touch it for five minutes, it will automatically power down. To wake it up again, you don't need to press the power button, you just shake it. Right, we're gonna test it on this bad boy right here, but you know what, let's not mess about. We don't want this magazine. Now you're talking, ha <laughs> ha. But, I have to get the tracer unit on first, so mag out. <laughs> Come on now. Okay, I'm not even gonna turn the lights down. I just wanna quickly test it, yeah? I've got my eye protection on. Let's just see if it works. Oh, 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 <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I jumped, even though I knew when I was gonna pull the, anyway. Lights are down a bit. Let me just check that again. Oh, 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 oh. oh my, oh. Right, so what I've done there, I have now put it in tracer mode alone. Oh, very nice, very nice indeed, and it ain't even dark. Okay, let's go really dark. Oh, ho, ho. it's out, we need more. <laughs> now the lights are fully on. It's only in tracer mode, okay, so no flash. Will you still be able to see them getting lit up? Oh, yes, I can see it, but it's much better when it's a bit darker and a bit more longer range. Hold on. <laughs> Do you remember the brighter sea? When I said it's designed for green, you can use red, but it's way better with green. And then in that video description, I said, forget red, just use green because the difference between the two is epic. So can you use red ones in this version? Well, as you can see there, the box specifically says supports green tracer BBs. So what I've got here is a mag with red tracer BBs. Now you probably can't really tell that because the light is absolutely washing them out, but <laughs> right. Now, as you can see there, very, very dim, but I've still got studio lights on. So let's go completely dark. In fact, going dark. Although it's not focusing, you can just see they're lit up for almost a second and then they go dark. Back with the greens. <laughs> Look, there's no competition whatsoever. <laughs> We're out. So here it is. Regular BBs, just the flash going on. <laughs> How awesome is that? Okay, so I'm gonna set it up now so it does both, right? So for that mode, you want one bleep. There you go. <laughs> So there you go people, that is the Ace Tech Blaster Tracer Unit. Now like always, there's always gonna be a spear one up for grabs. I'll let you know in a future video when that gets to me because I've only got this one here right now. And the giveaway will be done within another completely different unboxing. So don't expect a thumbnail and a standalone video saying Tracer Giveaway. It could be in my next video that I say, right, do you wanna win the blaster from Ace Tech? So yeah, be sure to be subscribed and if you can, watch every video I upload, if you can. 
So, thanks for watching and thanks again to the people over there at Ace Tech for hooking your boy up with what has now become my favorite one. The brightest sea is amazing, especially when it comes in this package, but in my opinion, this one is way better, even if it's just because it has a blooming power button. <laughs> right, let me give one of my patches away. Isaac, you didn't quite answer it correctly, but you were the first one and the closest one to what I was looking for in terms of an answer. Now I did give the answer in my previous video, yes, the Calico Jack video, um, that it was Calico Jack, born in the UK, came to his demise in Jamaica. And he was the one that created that famous flag with the skull and two swords. So you came pretty close. Would you believe it? Not a single person gave me the complete answer. Most of you like Brandon and others gave me correct information, but didn't nail the third point about the design of the flag. But anyway, Isaac, you was first. Well done. Um, I'm gonna send you a patch anyway. And you know what, Brandon? You were so close. I'm gonna send you one as well, okay? And remember the whole point of this giveaway is that you had to be first. So I'm just being a little bit generous by giving one to Brandon because he literally came in moments after Isaac with an even better, more informative answer, but not nailing what I wanted. But you're getting a patch anyway. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Catch you next time on the Airsoft Mike YouTube channel.